Hi everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to the channel. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So, today we have a post review of Issa Dragon from Bella Art Diamonds. So I just wanted to show you some things first before I um, talk about this painting. So I have shared these on my channel before um, and on Instagram, but I like to keep shouting out um, the... Um, the companies that I work with, the small smaller businesses, because I feel like it's great to advertise them so that you can go and go to their sites and have a look. And if whether it's my images or other images or um, release papers, you know, it's just about helping them as well as myself. But I just wanted to share these with you. So obviously this is from Bella Art Diamonds. And these are release papers from Crafts with Crashly. I have five images with Crafts with Crashly. And these come in different range of sizes, as you can see. And some are landscape and some are portrait. Um, so if you're going to have it landscape, it will be sort of this sort of type of thing. And then portrait, you, you may get more of the image in that way. Um, but I did use these with this painting. Um, they have other licensed artists as well. On their site three other art licensed artists um, and obviously I'm one of them and I'm really happy to be working with them so I want to share them as well so please head over to Crafts with Crashly and have a look at their site they have like um, cover minders and pens and accessories and all types of things they do these in combo packs and different sizes and they're, they've got some gorgeous release papers I highly recommend them they're great quality and I really enjoyed using them and so I use these ones um, for this painting. Um, these are obviously this way, that way, and that is that way. But it didn't matter to me. You can have them any way you like. And I did about half the painting. And then I turned it around. And then I put the release papers on the other side of the painting. But I think these release papers are great for because when, you know, you know when you're sharing your your diamond paintings on social media and things like that you want them to look all pretty it adds a bit of extra prettiness to it doesn't it also if you're working like heavy confetti areas it makes it more manageable and it sectionizes me and just peel it off and it's always fun to even though you know you know what the painting looks like you don't quite know what's going on in the next section so peeling it off and finding out is quite fun as well so i really enjoyed using these so i will link cross with crashly down below so these are the ones that I used and quite often with release papers in general, what I do is um, because these were small and I just it does depend on the sort of diamond paintings that I'm working on. But I tend to work in two rows like this. And once this row's done, I'll pop those on top of there and then I'll work that and go so forth. So I thought I'd share those with you. Also, we have some other images as well, but I will link down below my unboxing of these so you can see them and then if you know Bellart de Nicole they are the owners of Bellart Diamonds so Bellart de Nicole they do 3d printed accessories and this is the image to go with this dragon um, so this is Easter dragon one and you can get these in different si um, sizes as well you can get them in max trays you can get them in all kinds of sizes so I have one of my fox so you can get it in that sort of size um, and I really love working with these. I use these this on smaller um, sections um, and it has like good grid, grid lines, high sides, a spout and um, you've got like the stopper there. Um, I think I could be wrong, but I think they cha they've changed the um, sort of like they've got a different sort of type of um, tray now. But I could be wrong, but head over to Bill Art to Nicole. Um, on, on um, YouTube to have a look um, but yeah that's what they are at the moment and um, but yeah so they have like images printed on trays and those are licensed art as well they also have um, if you go to resin items on their site they have um, legally licensed art in um, trinket trays so I have got one to match this to match um, Dragonfly Surprise and Autumn Fox and there's a couple of other ones as well. There's also a um, trash minder sort of thing um, with a fox on it. So if you like matching sort of things or do you want to mix and match, you know. So those are, I'll get 
sort of talk about those they're done um but um yes yeah, so bella art de nicole they have lots of 3d printed accessories so and they've got their diamond paintings all on one site so that's at www.bellartdenicole.com um so let's talk about this diamond painting so this was an absolute joy to work on um, there were times when the confetti was slowing me down and i was like i want to get through it um i my other half had some time off with me so i was able to get this completed and i was able to get some drawing done so when um i quite often go silent on my um youtube because i need time to sort of draw things and stuff so i've been drawing some christmas images that will hopefully come out this year so sometimes i might go a bit quiet on my channel um but i appreciate you staying and subscribing and to new subscribers as well thank you so much so let's get to this painting so this is a square and the size is 40 by 52 and um it's set it's got 48 colors and you know what i really love is that um um get my words out bell art diamonds jamie nicole you know every artwork is hand rendered and is legally licensed and so you know a lot of thought, of thought and care goes into every diamond painting that is released and i can really really see this with this and obviously being the artist of this piece i couldn't be any happier with how this has turned out i'm so so impressed and i think and i love working on them because it's fun too and i like to see how it's going to turn out as a diamond painting as well so so the fact is i've said before is that the detail is incredible for a small size like this um some companies may have rendered bigger with an image like this but look at all the detail that's been captured i'm just so impressed so it what i also love is sorry i'm trying to get all my thoughts out um is that they with my dragons i've noticed that they put a lot of enhancements in it and i really really appreciate that because with my dragons they are very sparkly they're very iridescent and they've really done justice with that they've really done an amazing job with that and it's i found this really fun and this is the th fun thing about this image for me was the learning where the enhancements went on the picture um and finding out where they went and just you know working with them so i'll get to that so I did find that in areas like with the black drills, it was a little bit tight in place in the drills. They are stuck down, they're all flat. Um, so, you know, there wasn't an issue with that. They did, they all fit nicely. There is a mixture of um, newer drills and older drills here. So the older drills um, are absolutely superb anyway. They're really, really good, but they are transitioning into newer drills. So you may find that there's a slight difference in the way that the drills look um with the um, newer drills to compared to the older drills but they they fit absolutely fine together they're still the same size they're just got a different i can't even explain it they're just very sleek and shiny and i can't wait to do a diamond painting when they are all those but um you know so you may find that there's slightly different drills but it's not going to affect your diamond painting experience you know they're still going to fit nicely together as you can see is, there's no issue there so the older drills and the not the newer drills they're both brilliant types of drills um but i'm not the best at explaining things but you'll see what i mean but the newer drills just wow absolutely amazing so it's funny when you run your fingers over you can feel the difference actually with the newer drills and the older drills is they feel a bit rough rougher than the older drills and i think that's because they've got more of a sharper cut on them if you know what i mean it's not sharp but you know what i'm saying so I'll tell you the enhancements that I put on this painting and what I will do is I will get you down to the painting so you can have a closer look at it. So before I forget to mention, this is a poured glue canvas. All their canvases are poured glue. Amazing quality. And I say this all the time. The quality is stunning. It's very, very high quality. Um, and I'm really happy to be working with a company with such high quality drills. And um, the owners are... Um, Nicole, she is a diamond painter herself, so you know she has a lot of thought into how, from a diamond painter's perspective, on how she wants the diamond painting to be, and the quality. So yeah, so all the symbols were really really easy to read. I didn't have any issues with them. Um, 
but yeah no absolutely wonderful no popping drills no issues like that um the color the vibrancy of the diamond paintings is absolutely amazing um i love that and it's just shiny it's flat and obviously like i say i'll pan over that so the enhancements that i made i used these quad cubes now i need to do a big splurge at dp with sparklers um because i really want to get i'm starting to go through my special drills now and i really want to be able to um have some more available for myself so i'm just going to put the flash on i just wanted to show you what it looked like without i'm just trying to figure out how to do it because it's it's sideways and i so i can't do it but yeah it's these ones as you see these amber ones which i'm tempted to put in dragonfly surprise what do you reckon what do you reckon um for the sparkles like sporadically around dragonfly fly surprise so there's that one and then i use these now these are old so i've spilt something on the label at some point um but i used these jellied drills and i used those in the wrapper of the egg so just sort of got my other phone to show you the flash there and they're like jellied sort of see-through ones with a little ab coating on them and i put those in the symbol the dollar sign where is it there i've still got my cover minder on there I need to take that off so in that one and i put that in there so the thing is right i know that wrappers are normally like a silver sort of thing but i wanted pink because i just felt like silver wouldn't look as nice as the pink in this picture that's why i chose the wrapper and you can see like he's sitting there um eating his in in the egg and he's got his leg like his feet pushed through the egg and stuff and he's got his little chick friend and you see like the daisies this is where i put the quad cubes in the daisies here um and they were like four squares each like yellow part of the daisy so it's really really easy to replace those so that was the only added enhancements that I put on the painting. And then we get to these drills. So look at all these. Look. These were special drills. Um, and like I said, I love that they included those in there. Um, so the first one we have. No, that's not one. So yeah, this, this one replaced this colour. I can show you now. So that replaced this one. So I used this... Um, one in the normal areas of the painting and i just like i said replaced it with this one in that area and there wasn't many and i wanted to give it a bit of a shine i would have preferred a pink ab a proper pink ab in the shiny bit and i probably would have placed replaced all this one in that in that color um but i decided to just i didn't have enough to be honest and i didn't want to change it too much but so the first one we've got here is this one, which is a Bella Sparkle Dust Drill. And it's got like this lovely gold fleck on it. And that is in, um, I'll show you that in a minute. So we've got this AB. So we've got two ABs, which are quite similar. I'm sitting down and my legs are about to go dead. Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it sideways like that so that you can get a better look of it um and where those special drills are i can find them for you um i need a pen or something <clears throat> let me just see if i can find it let me pause okay so this drill this bella sparkle dust drill as you can see sorry the flash isn't on that is spreaded around in the sum in the dragon's nose there 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 um this is as much as I, can, as I can find right now but i don't know where they all are and i don't want to take too long then we've got this um this bella sparkle dust drill which is like glistening snow to me and it's got a lovely sparkle on it so it's hard to get these shown on camera so those are in the sparkles here of the um wrapper of the egg and then we have um we don't have as many of those i don't think so they're just in the wrapper mostly we've got white abs in here 
um, in the eyes, um, some in the horns, some in the tops of there. Also replaced a couple of the jelly day bees, put a couple of the jelly day bees on here as well. I accidentally put some in the tongue, so it'd probably be a lighter highlight there, maybe. Just got a bit carried away. Um, and then some in the bottom there you can't see. I'll put a couple of jelly day bees in there, and there's some white ABs in there, and some in the bunny's tail. And then we have this one, which is another Bella Sparkle Dust, which has got blue blue mica powder on it. And they are also in the dragon here, 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 along here, sort of spread out in the dragon. Um, I think I can't see where they are. So mostly in the dragon. Then we've got some... This orangey sort of AB, 720 AB, and that was up in here. I'll show you in a minute. And then somewhere there. And they're mixed with the other AB, which is like a ready sort of orange as well. So they're mixed together. And I love that. That was really, really pretty. I love they put those in the eggs. Um, and then we have this blue AB. Um, and that is sort of in there, and there, and there, and there in the horns we've got a load in the egg here so you can see the ABs can't you just around there um that's what I could see there and then we've got these two green ABs so I'm not I'm not gonna be able to sort of separate them when they're on the canvas what what, what one is what but you see they are quite similar in tone one is slightly darker than that one and the green ABs are here through there um, they're in the horns, there's a bit in the horns there and a bit in the horns over there, some green in there, a load of green in there, just lovely. So what I'll do is I'll put you close to the canvas so you can see for yourself what it's like. So there we go, my phone is getting really hot, I've been doing a lot of videos and bits and bobs with my phone so I feel like it's overheating so I'm going to have to turn this off soon but you can see... Let me just show you, like they're nice and flat. Don't try and go slow. So you can see. Lovely. So yeah, I'll show you. There is the enhancements there. And then you can see the ABs in there. Look, I, this is like got to be part of my favourite part of the painting here with when it comes to the ABs. I love this gradient that they've done here. They've done an amazing job. Um, and then you can see those jellied ABs that I've used. And there is the Bella Sparkle Dust drills in there. And, uh, and then the ABs in here. There's a load of ABs there. And look, you see, look, there's those sparkle dust. There. so the blue and the white and there's some ABs I love that they've done this with this painting I don't know I can't remember if I said but also what they do is they have the legend obviously facing the correct way this way um, on your painting let me show you there and then they also have it up the opposite way so when you turn the diamond painting around you can work on it Anyway, if you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you've got um, to this video, put a little dragon emoji or a smiley face emoji. I really appreciate you watching. And like I said, if you have any questions, please comment down below. And I'll help you to the best I can. And I will see you all soon in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.